what about when I got the phone from phone call from Guy Ritchie to Ben Lockstock? Uh, I can't really remember that one, but I do remember Guy Ritchie coming round because um, obviously my dad was up to be in the next film. Was it Snatch afterwards, wasn't yeah, it? Snatch, and then yeah. when he come in, he, he just like mucking about because he knew my dad weren't well, but he didn't know why or what he had. And he said, oh, whatever you do then, don't die before the next film Snatch. And he said, well, I will. I'll be dead in six months. And with that, Guy Ritchie nearly fainted. My mum went, that ain't funny. And he looked at my mum and he said, is he telling the truth? And my mum said, yeah, he's got lung cancer. You know, and he was gutted because obviously he was, he was there, he was, his next step to stardom was going to be America, I reckon, my dad. Yeah, because if it was only like 47, 48 when all that stuff came yeah. out, then they still had years because they buy into all that shit. Yeah. All the bare knuckle fighting and rough looking James Bond villains. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's loads, of, that's the, <coughs> pro, that's the thing that, there's still opportunities for there, even people in prison, like I interview a lot of criminals and people, genuinely, listen, I got a lot of assholes on as yeah. well who are, try and pull the wool over people's eyes but yeah. there's people out there genuinely changing opportunities that come their way from book deals documentaries films it is because people buy into it 